Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where I say a lot of weird things as a comma. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Hello my little shrimp dumplings. I am so excited to do this video because I haven't done one in a hot minute and listen, I, it's five o'clock somewhere and I need to get trashed. If you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa and I'm a garbage person. I do this video in collaboration with my good friend on here, Emily Hanhan, this little sweet angel baby up here. If you don't know her, please go check her out. She is absolutely wonderful. She is literally like a candy button. And Emily is the person that actually came up with this idea. So if you are familiar with videos talking about new makeup releases, it's, this is pretty much that. With the exception that me and Emily get shit faced and talk a lot of fucking nonsense on the internet. It's a good time. I usually say a lot of weird sexual things. Stay tuned. In any case, I want to say thank you so much for Emily for one coming up with this idea and me riding her coattails every damn time we do this video. So once you're done checking out this video, please make sure to go check out Emily's video. It'll be linked down below. And if you want to play yourself actually, or if you want to create your own video, all the information will be linked down in the description box below. Come check it out. If you do post a video, we have a community playlist. Go add your video there because we want to keep this garbage growing. Now, with that said, what am I drinking today? Hold on. I was like, does something fall on my drink? <laughs> Hi. Okay, so today I'm drinking vodka. <laughs> I'm actually drinking vodka with white cranberry because I'm classy. Mmm. Put a lot of vodka in that one. <sighs> okay, we're gonna drink this. Sometimes I get a refill, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have to like order White Castles halfway through just to sober up, so this should be fun. So Emily and I pulled together about 40 images of makeup releases that have come out within the last few weeks. There was a dry patch for a little bit, but now it looks like it's business as usual. So we added a lot of stuff at the last minute, hence why it went up to 40 images. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to like showcase all the images, but I'm gonna just try to like throw it up here now. By the way, that, it, it's fucking windy outside, okay? It's, it's actually kind of getting to the point where I'm terrified that the window unit's gonna rip out of the window and then the wind's gonna somehow pick up my fat ass and take me outside. I mean, I lived a good life. Did I? Probably not. In any case, if this is the last video you see of me, just know that I love you very much. <laughs> but please don't be alarmed. I'm gonna try not to shit my pants every time the wind blows and rattles my whole house. <laughs> So basically I put all these 40 images in a random number generator and I'm just gonna be pulling shit at random, all right? That's usually how it works. With that said, welcome to motherfucking makeup bingo. Okay, so the first one we get is Oh, motherfucker. Bitch, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hold on, let me tell you all about this shit. Give me a minute. By minute, give me 10, because I gotta figure shit out. <laughs> Phone. So Mac came out with the Lunar New Year collection. Toaster, let me tell you all about this shit because I am fucking excited about it. Normally I snooze on Mac stuff because it's Mac. When was the last time Mac was cool? I'm waiting, exactly. <laughs> See, like, I don't know, like I think, <sighs> you know, I stand corrected. When was the last time Mac was cool? Mm. In my opinion, I think they're overrated. The only thing I feel like is okay is the goddamn paint pot. And still then I'm like, eh. But what I will say, my makeup dick got hard for this collection. And granted, it's actually only one thing. The rest of it I could fucking care less about. Matt came out with this Lunar New Year collection. You have some lipsticks that are about 20 bucks a piece. Eh, I don't really give a shit about. There's an eyeshadow quad that looks Honestly, it kind of looks like the Viseart Golden Hour palette in a weird way, kind of, not really. I don't know, kind of looks like that, kind of doesn't. I don't know, I'm not interested. But the thing that I'm literally losing my goddamn mind over is this stupid fucking highlighter. I don't know why, I want it, I need it. It reminds me of Big Trouble in Little China and I fucking love that movie. <laughs> and I want this so badly. <laughs> That's the only reason why I want this. I don't give a fuck if the shade works for me. I just want it because I want it. Go off and rule the universe from beyond the grave. Indeed. Or 
check into a psycho or whichever comes first, huh? It's kind of like the um, Melt Cosmetics Moriturno highlighter. Like, I could care less if it actually worked for my skin tone. Thankfully, it did, so it's kind of worth the money now. But I was like, shit, it's a skull. I need to have it. This is kind of how I feel about this. Like, yes, I want it just because it's a dragon. I know. I hate me too, trust me. But I fucking want this thing. Oh my god. Mmm. It just looks so fucking cool. So I need to get it. And what's killing me is, is that I went on the Mac website. They don't have it. There is no Mac store in New York City that has it, which I don't fucking understand, but whatever. Okay, fine. They don't have it. Then I saw on Trend Mood that it's available in Bloomingdale's. Lost my mind. Went to go order it. What's sold out? The fucking highlighter. Everything else is in stock. I can get the blush. I can get the fucking palette. I can get the lipstick. I don't want any of that shit. I want the fucking highlighter. I'm not gonna rest until I get that highlighter because I need to have it in my life. Will I ever use it? Probably not. But I just want to look at it. And this is the prime example of why I have issues. Probably not. It's probably other deep-seated issues probably relating to my childhood and definitely daddy stuff. But whatever. I need this highlighter. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get it. If it's in the cards, it'll somehow end up in my possession. I hope so. Oh God. Anyway, if I'm going to mark my bingo card, this is a Lunar New Year release. Yeah! The next one is Hourglass. Hi, baby. Hourglass came up with the Vanish Liquid Concealers. All right, so here's the thing. Here's the deal. Here's the steal. Steal? Sneal. Sneal. Here is the deal. I love Hourglass, right? I really do think that they're the bees knees. And I am a fan of their powders and all kinds of shit. Now, when it comes to foundation, I do have the Vanish Stick one. I think it's garbage. It's hot garb. I don't fucking like it. Now, I have not tried their liquid foundation, but honestly, if it's anything like their stick, count me the fuck out. So, I'm more of a powder boy. Considering how much... I have been loving the shit out of this stupid fucking palette. I kind of want to like try their complexion products one more time. And I was intrigued to try their concealer. However, the thing that stopped me honestly is the shade range. Because the shade range is fucking garbage. Because it's pretty much a sea of fucking white. And that's terrible. So I don't know why Hourglass is not on the inclusivity train. Bitch, we're leaving the station. You better jump on. I don't know what's going on with these motherfuckers. But they need to figure something out. And uh, yeah, it's, tw come on, it's 2020. Like... I'm gonna have to pass on this one just for right now because my track record with their complexion products are kind of shitty and then after seeing this and their shade range being really piss poor, makes me less enthused to try it. So I think I'm gonna pass on this. But on my bingo card, I'm gonna mark this as a complexion release with a terrible range. Cause this is terrible. Terrible. Next. Yeah! So the next one I'm gonna pull is Buxom. Get a fresh start in 2020 with our first ever lip scrub, plus two new shades of powerful plump lip balm. So they retail for about $18 a piece, and they basically look like dildos. They're about the size of a pocket rocket. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, I love a glue stick chapstick. And my favorite brand is actually Treat Beauty. Fucking phenomenal. And you should definitely go check them out if you don't know what they are. I don't know, there's just something about them that kind of reminds me of Flesh a little bit. Remember that brand? That weird chode size foundation? Now it's fucking weird, that fucking brand. But that's what this kind of reminds me of. Also, kind of reminds me of a contour stick. Not how I feel about these things. But they're dildo-esque. I give them points for that. But I definitely don't want these to pleasure me. So I'm going to pass on <laughs> these. But if they're anything like their lip products that I have been fucking in love with, then maybe I will like these. Maybe I will try a little dildo every now and again. Does this fulfill anything for my bingo card? No, nothing dick-shaped. Sorry. Pass. My little buttercup. Oh my God, it's little Hannah. I love saying little Hannah because she's literally 10 years younger than me. She could be my daughter. I mean, not really, because that would be like really suspect, like how old are you when you get birth? But it's just like, anyway, <laughs> that's, that just lined up for something really weird. Scratch that. Can we scratch that? Scratch that. Someone edit that out and post. Smoky glow. <laughs> I'm just going to keep drinking. Congratulations, Hannah, my dear. This is fucking awesome. And it actually like makes me really excited because one, I actually know the person that ha is having the collab. Like it's like a fucking, it's a big deal. Like, like, oh no, I know her. Like, even though I've never met her in person, but like she's an internet friend. Like, 
Like basically that means like we're best friends in real life. I'm very, very happy for her. If you don't know who Smokey Glow is, you're fucking living under a rock. And if you don't know who Midas Cosmetics is, you're living under a fucking rock as well. And if you actually want to look into some Midas Cosmetics up, just want to throw this out there, but like I have a code. So like if you want to like save some money and stuff, just use garbage. <laughs> And I'll save a little money uh, off your order. Keep in mind though, if you do use that code, a little kickback does come to me. So if you're okay with that and keeping this garbage boat afloat, then so be it. If not, you could use someone else's fucking code. I don't care. I'm just leaving it on the table for you. So use it if you want. I'm really excited for Hannah and Midas because they're fucking, they're both wonderful. And I cannot wait to see what this fucking palette looks like because I can imagine what it looks like kind of based off the packaging and, and Hannah's vibe, but I really just want to see everything in action. There looks like there's going to be like a highlight duo. So I'm very, very intrigued. Considering I am an alien slut, I have high expectations for this. So y'all better not let mama down. Otherwise there's hell to pay. But in any case, I'm very, very excited for them. I cannot wait to try this. And on my bingo card, I'm going to consider this millennial pink. So congratulations, Hannah and Midas. I cannot wait to see the fucking collection. Cheers. So the next thing I got is Chi Chi Cosmetics. Have I ever heard of Chi Chi Cosmetics? I don't think I have. Who is Chi Chi? Hi, besides RuPaul's Drag Race, who are you? Oh, they're an Australian company. They're cruelty free. They ship everywhere. Oh, they ship to most countries. By Frank and George. Oh, okay. Hi. They have two adorable little pugs that say Merry Christmas on their Instagram. <laughs> That's adorable. OMFG three, which is the Oh My Frank and George number three. Palette contains 32 highly pigmented shades and mattes and shimmers and a variety of textures that scream bright color fun. Inspired by our love of rainbows, bright neon colors and graffitis, pr pretty pastels of confetti, blah, 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 blah. So this guy retails for 45 Australian dollars, which Siri, how much is 45 Australian dollars to USD? Okay, it's actually $30.91. That's great, okay. That's actually really affordable. This is very, very pretty. All right, so here's the deal. It's another rainbow palette. Do I really need it? No, I don't because I have a shitload of rainbow palettes and I actually decluttered a bunch of rainbow palettes as well. But it kind of makes me feel like I need a rainbow palette. No, I don't need this. Maybe I do. Maybe I do need this. Do I really need this? I don't know, like I really wanna get this, but at the same time it's like, do I really need this? Probably not. But I kinda want it though. I don't know, I'm gonna put a pin in this because I am intrigued, but I don't know anything about the brand. So I'm gonna research the brand first and then I'll kinda make my decision based off of that. But um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. With that said, this is going on the bingo card as it's a rainbow palette. Yeah! Well, that was terrifying. Okay, um, next. <laughs> All right, so the next one, I'm actually almost running low on my drink. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, so the next thing is... Oh, bitch. So this is from Cleona Cosmetics. First of all, Cleona Cosmetics, I fucking love you guys. And I'm so sad because I really want this goddamn stained glass collection. And every time I'm like, all right, all right, you know what? I'm gonna fucking pull the trigger and I'm gonna buy it. It's like half of the ones I want are sold out or they're not in stock or they're gonna restock, or I, I don't know. Which is really good for them because like, I'm happy that they're making money. It sucks for me because I wanna spend the money and I can't. <laughs> but they posted this picture and can I tell you, my makeup dick got so hard, it fucking impregnated everybody in this fucking building. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna have a lot of kids. Like, this is fucking gorgeous. So they came out with these jeweled multi-chromes that are these three green shades. I literally will be bathed in these, okay? Like, they are so fucking pretty, I can't even handle. It. 2020 is the year of the multi chromes, y'all. You better fucking get on board, all right? Seriously, like, why am I even fucking with regular eyeshadow anymore when shit like this exists? Seriously, like, what, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, oh my god, this is I, literally Trace is dead. The multi chrome channel. I'm literally, I'm only gonna be just doing multi chromes. Like, 2020 is the year of the multi chromes, and I am so excited for these. Now, these don't have a release date. So, uh, Cleona, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You uh, better get on it though. 
because I just want to spend my money. <laughs> expect a review on my channel. Like I said, my makeup dick is so hard. I'm impregnating people across the goddamn world. I love it. Mm. And with that said, I'm going to mark my bingo card as all the melty crumbs. Yeah! Uh, I had to make myself another drink. Can I tell you that I think I've been playing this game wrong and it just took me seven episodes <laughs> to realize <laughs> because because I think when Emily plays, she like gets a bingo thing and then she drinks. I just continually drink throughout the whole thing. And no wonder why I get fucked up. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I'm like, wow, I'm like on my like second tall boy over here. I'm like, maybe I should slow down. But then the other part of me is like, no, keep going. And then halfway through, let's order White Castle and call it a night. And I'm like, that sounds like a great idea. So. Thankfully, they're open 24 hours. Mm. Okay. Uh, I see and taste colors. All right. Let's go back to the drawing board. Ah, oh, Sydney Grace. I fucking love Sydney Grace. So Sydney Grace was very, very kind enough, I want to say a while back, and actually sent me a bunch of their shadows. Unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to have a video about them, but their quality it's fucking amazing. It's some of the best green eye shadow. Oh fuck, I gotta do a quest for green video. Mental note, make sure I do that, shit. Okay, their eyeshadows, they particularly sent me a lot of green and purple. Their greens, they're so fucking nice. The quality is so nice. And when I heard that a palette was going to be teased out, I was like, what? Sign me up. And the fact that they created two different palettes, <sighs> bitch. So this palette's actually going to be released on January 13th and there's a lighter version and a deeper version. Fuck. I kind of want both. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I want both of these. Fuck. I'm so tired of this warm tone bullshit. Finally, 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 a brand has created a cool tone option. And the fact that I know that their quality is fucking amazing, it's like 10 out of 10 out of 10. I'm so goddamn excited. So I'm tempted though to pick up the deeper one as well, just because I really do like their quality. Mm. All right, regardless, I'm definitely picking up the lighter one for sure. And I will definitely be doing a review on it. I have never seen a brand actually release a product made for light skin tones and dark skin tones. Other than it being a face palette, I've never seen that with an eyeshadow palette. So like, it's funny that it took this long, but congratulations to you guys for actually being like the first brand to actually fucking do that. And hopefully other brands will follow suit. But holy shit, this is so fucking pretty. I'm so excited. All right, so yeah, so this is actually gonna be coming out January 13th, I believe. Now to mark it on my bingo card, this is a neutral palette with the pop of blue for sure. Oh, this bitch. Okay, so this is from Elf Cosmetics. This is the Pied the the Piety Primer. Piety, which is the putty eye primer. There's actually a few items in this line. And besides the putty primer, they also have like a hydrating primer as well as a hydrating camo concealer. I picked up all these products from Ulta and I'm gonna be doing a video on it sometime next week. So be on the lookout for that. Putty eye primer, it comes in five different shades. It pretty much looks like a fucking MAC paint pot. Like it's a pretty much a copycat of a MAC paint pot. The reason why I'm intrigued by this product is because I use a concealer base for all my eyeshadows. Sometimes I use a MAC paint pot, but really it's for concealer. I use the NARS Soft Matte concealer that's just expensive granted it does last me for at least like four or five months I will say that but the shit is thirty dollars so if I could find an actual good eye base for five bucks steal so I'm intrigued to try this primer I feel like I'm fucking like I, uh, uh, elf elf putty primer elf putty primer why is that so difficult to say? And on my bingo card, I'm gonna mark this shit as a fucking copycat because it straight up is a fucking copycat of the goddamn Mac paint pot. Mm-hmm. First of all, I'm actually surprised this is not ColourPop. Yeah, I said it. Kathleen Lights is launching yet another collaboration because, you know, having 75 with ColourPop isn't enough. This one is with, oh, I can never say this fucking brand name. Is it? Briogeo? Briogeo? No, because I want to say fucking, I want to say Neo Geo every goddamn time. Brio, Briogeo, Briogeo, Briogeo. Butter Cookie? Let's call it Butter Cookie. So this thing, what the fuck is this? It's an limited edition collection of aromatherapy oils. I thought they did hair. They do oils too? What the fuck is this? 
Okay, wait a second. I need to Google something. Hold on. Also, I feel like I'm breaking my goddamn arm with that drink. It's so goddamn heavy. So wait, when the fuck did they start getting into like fucking aromatherapy shit? The fuck is this about? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, these little roller balls, one reminds me of my childhood. Do you remember like when you were a kid and they were like, here's perfume for tweens. And it was like those stupid roller balls you'd find in fucking like Claire's or icing or whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Also, there's a girl I work with. <laughs> she has this roller ball thing of CBD oil. <laughs> so every time she's stressed out, she just rubs this shit all over her body. <laughs> It just fucking stinks of CPT oil and I'm like, honey, you are right. She's <laughs> just like, okay. I admire that she is literally taking this astrology thing and fucking putting a nail through that coffin. All right, I get it. You like astrology, you like crystals. I get it, I get it. <laughs> like I got it with the first seven fucking ColourPop collabs. <laughs> now you're branching out to essential oils. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because granted, I don't really watch Kathleen Lights. I watch her maybe every now and again, but this is a very big thing that she talks about aromatherapy and candles and oils and rubbing herself and stuff. If that's the case and I'm an asshole and I apologize, but if this is like out of nowhere, then <laughs> then I don't really understand what we're talking about here. I guess I just find it really odd too that this company in particular that seems like it's, um, I don't know, a hair care company is coming out with essential oils. I don't know, like, is this weird? I kind of feel like it's a day live, right? Like I put the glasses on and I can see through the bullshit and then everybody's just running around just being fucking mind fucked. That's what I feel like this collection is. I know I went on a weird tangent right there. Just kind of follow me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to need some White Castle, regardless. Girl, go get your fucking money. I'm happy for you. Fucking do you, bitch. Whatever you gotta do. Like, if this is your dream, then that's awesome. That's great. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't get it. But if I really do wish you nothing but success, because I don't want to tear somebody down. I really don't. I just want to understand what this is about. <laughs> I feel like that's just like my honest question. Like, I'm happy for you, but like, can we talk about this a little bit more? Because I don't get it. So with that said, I'm gonna call this, can I call this anything? I don't think I can call this anything. With that said, I'm not gonna call this anything because I don't wanna be mean and say the collab and product that won't die because that's not fair. Kathleen needs to get her money too. So we're not gonna call it that. So I'm just gonna say nothing. I'm gonna be nice, nothing. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury. Ugh, my little Boston baked beans. How fucking cute is this palette? I can't, I can't handle it. Here's the thing, I've always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows. I really do like the products that I have received from her, but I've always been intrigued to try two different products. And I really wanna try that stupid highlighter and bronzer thing. I don't know why. I know, I, everyone says it's okay, but I still fucking want it. I think it's because it's beautiful. And the other thing I always wanted to try was eyeshadow palette. It's so basic, but it looks so fucking beautiful though. And this is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So this retails for $75, which is really fucking steep, to be honest, for an eyeshadow palette. But it's Charlotte Tilbury and all her prices are fucking jacked up anyway. And uh, what you get is uh, 12 shades. Each section is divided into three shades, kind of making it incredibly easy to use. So if you don't want to mix and match, you can just stick to the three colors that's in the section. Each section is so boring, so fucking boring. But I want it though. <laughs> This, you cannot get any more Anne than this palette, all right? No offense if your name's Anne, that's my middle name. And I know how boring we can be, all right? <laughs> Especially my Anne's with an E, all right? Without the E, you're a little trashy, you're a little slutty. But with the E, you're a little bit regal, you're a little bit royalty. <laughs> Just kidding, we're all sluts. E's or no E's. So this I'm so fucking intrigued about. I wanted to try their holiday palette, but the reason why I didn't do it is that usually nine out of 10 times holiday makeup sucks dick. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold my coin. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna wait. And I really wanna try this one out. Now I see that it is technically available, but I think it's available through the Charlotte Tilbury website. I kinda wanted to come to Sephora. I feel like if it comes to Sephora, I have at least a $15 coupon I could use. And then that $75 will go down to 60. I feel a little bit better about that. All right, I'm gonna wait for this shit to come to Sephora and then I'm gonna do a review on it, but I definitely want it though. I know, who the fuck am I? I'm like getting all the goddamn fucking neutral palettes. Seriously, 2020, I decided to become an adult. Who the fuck am I? I don't know. Hmm. This is gonna go on my bingo card as a basic as fuck neutral palette. 
ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop. Are we surprised by little salt water taffy dumplings? No, we're not. Fucking ColourPop. Like, I feel like they took a break for two weeks, but now they're just like, gotta pump the shit out, pump the shit out. Like, oh my God, like fucking ABH released their thing. We got a fucking full, full steam ahead here. So now they've released for 2020 is the mint collection, which is kind of like, I don't know, like, uh... Honestly, the swatches don't look really that great. And then the other thing that's in this collection is glitter. Fuck you, that's not gonna happen. And then the last thing is this matcha face milk, which I do have, and it has the consistency of semen. And uh, I mean, it's not bad. It makes my skin soft, but like, is it really doing anything? I don't know. I mean, it, it literally, who knows what the fuck's in that thing. Oh, the other thing that you also get too is Super Shock Shadows, which, you know, honestly, I haven't had Super Shock Shadows. I don't need any more. What actually draws me about the palette is the fact that it doesn't have a press glitter in it. So that's fucking great. Hopefully they got the memo to leave press glitters in 2019 because bitch, I like my eyes way too much. Now, with that said, um, the greens definitely look different from the other greens that are in the Just My Luck palette. There's definitely a little bit more variety, but I don't know if this is actually going to be really good on somebody with a deeper skin tone. When I look at this palette, I don't know if this is gonna be like universal. Like, I feel like it's gonna do well on like uncooked chickens, but like beyond that, it's like, mm. I don't know. Am I gonna get it? Probably, because I know I always say this about ColourPop. Like, ColourPop needs to be stopped. We need to stop giving into ColourPop. They're being fucking ridiculous. We need to, like, say, no, we're not spending our money. Yet then they come out with shit like this, and then everyone's just like, oh, well, I mean, I could just get this one palette. I won't get the next one. I'm yelling about it, but I'm like, in reality, I'm probably gonna buy it. I, f I hate me. Jesus. <sighs> fucking stupid. Mmm. Now with these little monochromatic palettes, if they're gonna go with mint, I wonder what the next one's gonna be. I wonder if they're gonna do something like Sherbert or some shit like that. It's gonna be like, corals, ooh. <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking buy it. <laughs> Cause I am a slave to the machine, even though I yell about them, so. I'm definitely gonna be picking this up and I'm actually, this is gonna come out on Friday, so I probably have already purchased this by this point, so. I'll shut the fuck up now. Now with that said, I'm gonna call this, it's a ColourPop release on my bingo card because that's exactly what this fucking is. The next thing is Milani. Ooh, okay, this, I wanna try this. I'm actually excited about this. So Milani has come out with another foundation in a natural finish called Scream Queen. Scream Queen. <laughs> Actually, it would be really funny if it was Scream Queen and it was just like all Jamie Lee Curtis all the time. That would be fucking amazing. But this is a natural finish for a luminous skin with digital blue light filter technology. What the fuck is that? I don't even understand. It's like those fucking computer glasses that my mom always talks about and swears by. So I was like, T, you're gonna have to get computer glasses. What is that? She's like, it sees in blue light. I'm like, I I can't, I don't understand. I feel like my mom gets talked into things. It's like, she'll have blue light glasses and she'll have fucking have yellow light glasses. Like, These are only good in tungsten light. I'm like, what the fuck are you even saying? Anyway, I didn't realize that they were starting to make foundations that I guess that are good for your cell phone <laughs> or for like your selfies. What fucking world do we live in? I don't even know. I feel like I just came to this planet. Like, what is this? In any case, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Because I like Milani and I really like their foundation, their Beyond Conceal Perfect, whatever, whatever. That has become like my holy grail for drugstore foundations. So I am definitely intrigued to try this one out. I also love that they have fucking 45 shades. That's awesome. And that's what it should be, but whatever. Who am I? In any case, I hope this is not a gimmick. I'm intrigued. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely check this out. And I can't really mark this on my bingo card because it's actually not a shitty shade range. Oh my God. My good friend, Tati, Tati Beauty. Okay, first of all, now this is coming out on Friday, so all I have right now is actually a picture of her looking into a bag that says Blendiful. So they suspect that it's probably a makeup sponge. Honestly, what I heard was that actually is uh, just a, a pouch full of glitter, because that would make the most fucking sense. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, anyway, so Tasha's coming out with a new product on January 10th, it's probably is a fucking sponge. I love that it's like in this weird kind of fiddle faddle bag. Do you remember, you know fiddle faddle? Or like Cracker Jacks? Like that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like a fucking fiddle faddle Cracker Jack bag. Pretty sure there's caramel corn, a temporary tattoo, and a fucking sponge in that bag. So in any case, I'm excited to see what exactly it is, but it's probably gonna be some fucking slate gray sponge that's gonna be so revolutionary. In reality, I really just hope it's a bag full of glitter, like fucking are you afraid of the dark?
Stark style, where they just like reach their hand into like a bag of sand and throw it. That's what I really want it to be. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a fucking sponge. Will I buy it? No. I'm afraid that it's probably gonna have glitter on it. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Uh-uh. No way, ma'am. But I'm intrigued to know what it is. I, I don't hate Tati. I think she's fine. I just wish I liked her products more. But I, um, I'm curious to see what the next palette's gonna be, and I'm gonna be hopeful that it's not gonna be another fucking metallic bullshit mess. No. In any case, we will find out on Friday what it is. For all intents and purposes, for my bingo card, I'm gonna call this, it's a new beauty sponge. Woo, -woo, -woo because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah! Doo -doo -doo. This fucking thing. All right. <laughs> No. So AVH came back from the dead to release the Amorizi palette. Here's the deal. First of all, I'm very happy for Amorizi. That's one. So before I even get all like all negative and like, you know, just a cunt and stuff like that, I will say congratulations to her because that's like a really big feat. You know, she had a highlighter, she has a palette. You're gonna fucking sell out. We all know you're gonna sell out. Everyone's gonna be sucking this thing's dick and that's awesome. For me though, when I look at this palette, it just looks like another best of palette. Pretty much looks like the Norvina palette. It looks like the Modern Renaissance palette. It looks like the Riviera palette. It just kind of looks too similar to those. And as someone that actually has pretty much all the ABH palettes with the exception of the Carly Bible palette. I don't really need this. Like there's nothing about these shades that are like, oh, you know what? This, this is unique to my collection. Plus they have motherfucking pressed pigments. You're really coming for ColourPop's gig now. Like this is fucking ridiculous. Like we all joked and laughed that you're like, oh man, you're releasing stuff like ColourPop. But to come out with fucking pressed glitters, like what is wrong with you? No, 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 God no. And even the glitter, some of them look kind of patchy. So, uh-uh, bitch, I ain't fucking with that shit. I can't. I can't. Maybe it's just a promotional picture, but two of the bottom shades just look so identical. So I'm gonna say no to this. I'm not gonna pick this up. I'm not getting it because I have those palettes in my collection and I'm not paying $45 for fucking pressed glitter. Bad enough when I buy it in the monochromatic palettes at $12, it hurts. To think that I have to spend $45 on two of those? Get the fuck out of you, bitch. But in any case, I'm very happy for Amorizi and I really, 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 really hope that they actually start releasing more of the highlight lighters in the Amorizi formula because that's fucking fantastic. I hope she does well with this palette. I'm sure she will. Let me know down below if you are going to be picking this up because I am curious, but um, I'm not. So my makeup dick is not hard for this one at all. So trust me, no. And uh, I'm going to mark this on my bingo card as it's an EVH release. Gee golly. Yeah! Ooh, Shantikai. This looks absolutely stunning, all right? I know I talked about it in my last makeup bingo that I was really obsessed with their holiday packaging. And I wanna, I actually wanna say a very special thank you to my girl, Happy Meanie. She's awesome. She actually gifted this to me, and this is the face powder. I hate to say it, <laughs> but this is fucking everything. I feel like, first of all, I feel like such a fucking bitch with this because I'm just like, the company is mine. Like, I fucking love that. Like, oh, hold on, I gotta do it again. You're out of the will. Oh God, I feel so good saying that. I love it. This powder works so well. It doesn't give you that alien slut glow, but it does like rejuvenate your skin where it kind of gives you like a light glow where you just look refreshed. Fucking beautiful. It's fucking fantastic. I hate how much I love it. I know once I'm done with it, I'm gonna have to repurchase this because this is something that I love. Again, makes me really fucking mad because fucking she put me on an expensive habit. God damn it. In any case, this packaging is absolutely stunning. So. In this collection, you have a Hummingbird Eye Quartet, which is $72. Literally, I'm gonna shit my pants. And the other one is a Perfect Blur Finishing Powder for $80. Oh, okay. Literally, it's $12 less than the powder that I have. What a fucking steal. Anyway, this is an Ultra Fine Instant Blur Gel Powder that soothes and perfects. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I feel sick to my stomach because I think I'm gonna order it. All right, I gotta do it when I'm drunk because if I'm sober, I'm totally not gonna do it. Am I doing this? Okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oof. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, I get to save 10% off my first purchase? Yes, please. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I buying this? Oh God, why am I buying this? Why am I buying this? Oh God, I feel sick. Do I though? <laughs> Oh, free shipping. Can I tell you, FedEx shipping is $18.48. I was about to cancel this order right now. Oh, I don't mind spending $80 for powder, but if I gotta spend $18 for shipping, go fuck yourself. Okay, wait a second. Wait, do I have a discount code? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Hold, please. Yes! I saved 10% on that, so I actually brought it down to $78.39. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hold, please, I need a credit card. I purchased the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And you know who I blame? I blame Happy Meanie, and I blame you, Michelle Wong, okay? Fucking you, all right? You're fucking making me a monster. But I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna regret this in the morning. Oh fuck. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna regret that. All right, I'm excited. <laughs> but if it, honestly though, I'm, I'm shitting you not though. If it's anything like this powder, seriously, it's suck my dick. It's fucking amazing. I can't fucking wait. I'm gonna look like a different person, bitch, and I can't wait. But I catfish the best of them. With that said, I will definitely be updating you guys in the future in a future review. Can I mark this off my bingo card? What the fuck is it? Oh, you know what? This is a pretty embossing, but a basic product. <laughs> because the packaging honestly is fucking stunning, but it's a basic ass bitch though. Yeah! With that said, I fucking completed makeup bingo. Yay, because my drink is getting a little low down here. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so what did we learn today? We learned that I have no willpower, and if I get drunk enough, I'll just start ordering Chantecai, which is a fucking problem, all right? You know what I should do? I should actually make more videos where I start getting drunk and just start ordering luxury products. I'll let Sober Teresa worry about that shit. <laughs> I could get hit by a bus tomorrow, fuck it. I'd rather have the blurring powder. It'll look really nice in my casket. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you played along. Let me know down below how you feel about the products I talked about. Are you gonna be getting any of them? Are you not gonna be getting any of them? Are you like, whatever, are you over this, blah, blah, blah. Let me know because I'd love hearing from you. And uh, with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that motherfucking subscribe button because it's fucking free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Snapchat, chat, Snapchat or chat, whatever. Discord, Patreon. On Thursdays, we have a podcast called Miserable 3, and I'm also on my husband's Twitch channel where I just yell about shit on the internet. And we're gonna be doing a live stream come the 15th, which I believe is a Wednesday, and all proceeds will be going to Australia. And pretty much anything that I make this month, I'm just gonna fucking donate it to Australia. So it sucks, I'm getting demonetized. <laughs> so I'm kind of hopeful that uh, whatever stuff I make uh, for Teespring and Patreon, I'm just gonna fucking donate over to Australia for um, for the cause because it's fucking upsetting what's going on there. And um, I have to see one more picture of fucking someone rescuing a koala. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna lose it and start crying. With that said, um, that's what we're gonna be doing next week. So I'll make sure all that information is linked, listed down below. And of course, I'll be reminding you guys and blah, blah, blah. So uh, if you, even if you don't donate, if you just like come and hang out, I think if you, I think our, one of our rules is like, if you come join Twitch and you follow, like, like we'll donate money or something like that. I, I forgot what the rules are because I'm kind of half in the bag at this point. Probably not the best time to start talking about charity and stuff. Uh <laughs> What you call a fucking idiot? Anyway, um, we, uh, I'll have everything listed down below. And um, yeah, with that said, if you wanna know what is on my face, which I don't really know why you would wanna know that, or where to get this garbage person sweater, <clears throat> everything will be listed down in the description box below. Drink responsibly, and I'll see you little dumplings later. Bye.